Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I'm so super excited to share with you something new that I'll be doing. Um, I've gotten se several um, requests um, to do tutorials on some things, just the, some things that I create, and they want you know people want to see how you do it. And you guys know everybody who does videos know how. Um, long that process is and how much you know you have to edit and things like that so what I've decided to do was to create projects or um, recreate some of the projects that I've already done that people are asking for a tutorial for like the jewelry box with the feet and the window and um, a couple other things that I have going on um, sneak peek here's a sneak peek of a new one coming up that's all I can show you but I'm super excited to do that. So what I'll be doing is showing you the project and then in the description box there will either be a coordinating kit or not or just a video tutorial and um, you guys can purchase that. There, The videos will start out at $5 um, if you would like to and that's full video from beginning to end and and one video or two not one video but beginning to end of one project so um, some of them will offer kits like this one and I'll link I've already done a kit video because I've, I did that first before I created this so um, you'll see next the kit video if you're interested in making this and what this is is a cute little box and like I said this will be made from start to finish beginning to end um, without extra embellishments now this is an embellishment that I pre-made but you'll get the complete the gist of how to make the project so um, that's something new I'm excited I really hope you guys will will join in I mean you guys know I love you all and there'll still be tutorials that that I'll be doing projects on but for the big ones that take a while uh, to do they will be offered um, for purchase on my blog so I hope I don't lose any of you guys from that but um, hopefully you'll join me so anyway just quickly on how this uh, works it's a closure with a little um, Tim Holtz swivel clasp and then it opens up and inside and like I said the beginning and the end you will learn how to make this box and you will also I will also do step by step on how to make this uh, tag mini album from where you know chipboard to the end decoration bottom the bottom end so quickly I'll flip through so you guys can see what you will be making in the tutorial really cute just giving you sneak peeks sneakers and then back and front are complete super cute a lot of these things are items that you can find in the kit so hopefully you will um, be able to um, join in otherwise you can use your own pattern paper and um, purchase your and purchase a kit and do what you want so for these particular things, you'll get the video, the intro video. Sometimes it'll be me talking, and sometimes it'll just be words uh, or you know, a quick video to say new tutorials are up in um, on my blog. So hopefully you guys will watch it and purchase it and do it and do a video and I can see it. So check the description box below. I'm so super excited to be able to start something new. And you guys know I really, really um, enjoy paper. We're playing with paper. So hopefully you'll join me. And then so stay tuned um, for this next part of the video will be the showing of the kit. So there's a vintage kit, which I absolutely loved. And then there's also a shabby chic kit too. So I didn't think I would play too much with this vintage but I really really enjoyed it so the kits and um, oh to mention if you purchase a kit the video is free so please allow 24 hours after purchase to allow me to get you the link and um, the video I, link I will send to the PayPal address that's on there so if you, of course you're paying by PayPal whatever um, email that is that's where the link will be sent to so within uh, 24 hours so if you purchase these kits the video is free otherwise if you just want to do it by yourself the link will be below thank you guys so much for your support thank you for watching and I have a lot of cool cool projects coming up so stay tuned thanks guys bye Alright, there are two kits available to make this project. 
First one is the Shabby Chic Kit. These kits will be $27, and as an added bonus, you will get the link to the video tutorial um, sent to the email address that you have on file with PayPal. So super cute. Um, kit contents, load it up, juicy stuff, and then you get the tutorial. So I think that's a good deal. What you'll get is four pieces of 8.5 by 11 chipboard that comes in both the Vintage and the Shabby Chic Kit. Let me share with you quickly the kit contents for this. You will get the um, six uh, six by six crepe paper paper pad paper pads by Maggie Holmes or Maggie Holmes is the na uh, name of it. And look at the super cute fun colors. It's not open, but what what I would this is so pretty. You can whitewash all these papers if you want. Just and tone down the colors or you cannot. Super cute shabby papers. This is 36 um, sheets in this paper pad. So you'll get the paper pad and then you'll also get this um, Tim Holtz um, frosted paper. You can use on your, I didn't use it because I forgot that I had that I had it in my kit on the set on the side but you can use this. It adds like a little shimmer. It's a adhesive so super cute fun to play with. I also have a sheet, this will vary in the kits, but it's a sheet of 6x6 six six washi tape. So it's you peel it off and you could use it as make some banners or do all kinds of fun stuff. But these will vary, but it is coordinating in your kit. You get a coordinating piece. You get a um, fabric square of some shabby chic fabric, that fabric that's 6x6. Six six. And then you'll get this um, sticker sheet. You can cut this all apart. I use it in my book on several different. I think I used a doily one for mine, but this one you could um, essentially break apart into pieces as well and use them on your mini album or your tag mini. You'll also get this paper bag, small paper bag. You can put paper on it, put some tags in it. Super cute because you have 36 sheets of paper. I didn't use a full paper pad and I only had 24 to start with, so you'll have plenty enough. You'll get a sheet of hole reinforcers for your tags. Makes everything look nice and finished. You'll get this um, pack of laser word embellishments or wood pieces. And there's five in there. You'll also get a pack of safety pins. I used two of them in my kit and my mini album. And there's three in there. And then you'll get a homemade lace flower. You can use it for the front of your box or in your mini album somewhere on there. So that's that portion and then for the um, ribbon and trims or I would staple these before I showed you guys super quick here you get some Chinese braid in the blue and then the cream and like I said you don't need a whole lot because it's just a tag uh, a tag me but you can make a couple of them but just need a little taste and then here's uh, the cream Chinese braid and then you'll get some pearl trim and then this doily piece. You'll get some coordinating, um, uh, a little over a yard of the Studio G ribbon. And you'll get some of this fabric with the gold, with the silver um, trim bling in the center. And you'll get two of these rosettes. You'll get a small little um, half inch of lace. You'll get some ribbon. You can use them as your tag, toppers, or what have you. That'll vary, but like I said, it all coordinates. You'll get some seam binding in case you want to use that for your tags. You'll get some of lace here. And then a little flower applique. And some of this shabby chic, fluffy pink trim. Super cute. Put this all back in here. So I don't want to lose it because I am the type that will drop this and I don't want y'all calling me saying you didn't get your crochet doily. <laughs> and then finally we have our doodad pack which I absolutely love the doodad bags. And I'll go through some of the items in here. This is a red heart. It does not coordinate right now but in the tutorial I'll show you just trace around it and add some pattern paper on there and use it as a um, photo mat or what have you. A journaling ticket. Um, the kits 
there's two different ones. There's these two, and then I think the other one is I Love You and something else. But you'll get two pieces, two wood pieces of chipboard, something to title your mini album with, or maybe decorate your box. But you'll get two of them. An Adora Dodge ticket. Um, this metal plate. This filigree, a binding ring. You'll get a strip of this shabby chic um, epoxy buttons. And then, it's just so cute. The Tim Holtz hanger. And then you'll get some shiny little pieces here. Little button pieces. You'll get the zipper. I use mine as a door handle. But it says precious. It's either in white or silver. A camera paper clip. Two Scrabble pieces in two different sizes. And cover it up with pattern paper. Cutest little charm. Charm piece. Hope this light is not reflecting too bad. Some uh, plastic metal, uh, plastic pink hearts. This cute tiny little bottle cap. I wonder if I turn off this light. Let's see. And then you'll get this shiny piece here. Two stick pins, and then this this little paper clip. This one says family. Let's see. And um, a little charm that says love. A little ring. A Roman numeral and a flower charm. And then a paper clip with a little diamond piece on it. The epoxy sticker to go inside that tiny little bottle cap. And then a Tim Holtz memo pen. So the doodads for both kits are very similar. Let's put this back in here. Super cute. Lots of fun stuff to play with. So. Right. And for the vintage kit you still will get the um, eight and a half by the four sheets of eight and a half by eleven and that's to make your box and your tags and then the you have extra left over to do some other stuff with it ah! okay all right for the vintage, let's see if we can move back out here. There we go. Love, love, love this. Like I said, the um, do that pack is pretty much similar. The only thing that changes is you have some of these vintage butterflies. The journaling spot's a little different, but all the doodads are pretty much the same in here. Okay, and then for the vintage pieces. You will get for the paper this vintage charm paper pad by KI Memories, and it's a six by six. It's thirty-two double-sided sheets. So look at this gorgeous paper. It's so pretty. Super cute. You'll also get this um, washi sheet. You'll get a Tim Holtz fabric quarter. You'll get some corrugated board, and then there's the Tim Holtz frosted sheet. Of course, the whole reinforcers, the stickers, the wood laser pieces in this design, the closed safety pins, and then you'll get this flower instead. And for the trims, loaded with lots of trims as well. You'll get this peach trim. Move it out the way. You'll get some black pearl trim. You'll get these brown rosettes trim. This cute little cream colored applique. You'll get this doily. You'll get two yards of burlap in the white and the cream. You'll get this applique, rose applique, some brown ribbon. Some Chinese braid in the brown and the cream. Some seam binding. This tiny little crochet in the cream color. Some thick 
wide lace and ivory some of that lace here another little rosette some a tiny little half inch lace some black lace and this gray floofy lace <laughs> love 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 it so the links in the description box below will be below these kits come with like I said free with the um, tutorial video for how you make the project and then if you just want the tutorial video that's the link below if the links to the video will be provided within 24 hours thanks guys for watching bye